Hello everyone. Three days for Asia. How is it? Enjoy? Super? Uh, thank you for coming to my session today. Uh, let's enjoy it today without worrying about coronavirus. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Okay, start my speech. At first, I talk about myself. Hello everyone, I'm Kenji Kanobe. I'm software engineer at Japan System Laboratory in Japan. And recently, I am studying data science and Python, Django, Vue.js, Firebase. My line board to be explained this time was developed during the study. So next, I explain about my company. What is Japan System Laboratory company? Uh, I call my company JSL, and JSL is an IT company located in Nagano Prefecture in Japan. Uh, my company provides a free community space called Geeklabo, and Nagano is a very nice place surrounded by nature. So if you come to Nagano, please come to Geeklabo in my company. So now that my self-introduction is over, I talk about Rainbow. LINE is a messenger application released by LINE Corporation. Almost all Japanese use LINE. I think it is like WhatsApp. And next, I, exp I explain the overview of my LINE bot. My LINE bot predicted if your bike will be stolen and predict bike theft by using open data with stolen people in Nagano. And using it using user data gotten from LINE. This LINE bot uses safety score to predict bug theft. The safety score is also a keyword of this pre presentation. I will explain that detail later. By using this LINE bot, you can know in advance if the price is safe or danger. If LINE bot predicted that the price is danger, stop parking your bike. And if safe, you can park without worrying about your bike. This will help you avoid the consequences of your bike theft. Next, I will explain how to use bot while playing the video. First, register this bot as friend, and then submit your age and your occupation. Your age and your occupation. Uh, it can't be sent very easily because it does not use a keyboard. So next, if you want to know safety score of your bike, press calculate button. After that, it sends the lock status and location data. And this, uh, we calculate the safety score immediately. Yes. Next, I explain the configuration diagram of my system. So this is it of my system. I deployed Django on Hex. Database uses PostgreSQL. Line message API is used for message in line. This API is released by Line Corporation. It enables two ways communication between system and line users. It has push message and response message. Push message is that system send message to users, and reply message is that user send message to system, and system replies message to user. So my system uses reply message. And return to explanation of configuration diagram. Okay, uh, first, Django view.py gets user data with using that message API. And then the user data is stored in database by a, by a model. And then when ordered to, ordered to calculate safety score, uh, views.py calculates it from user data and open data with stored people for predicting theft bike. And then send the calculated safety score to user by messaging API. So, but what is safety score? Next, I explain detail of safety score. 
The safety score is the degree of similarity store people and the user. High safety score indicated that the user data is not similar to the features of stolen people. It means safe. On the other hand, low safety score indicated that user data is similar to the features of stolen people. It means danger. This time to calculate safety score, I use Mahalnobis distance. It can be calculated from the mean vector of data set and variance covariance of data set. It is number that indicates how far from how far a point is from the data set. So replace a point with a user and replace data set with open data with store people. Therefore, indicating how far a user is from open data is indicating how similar a user and storm people. From this result, I use Mahanobis distance, uh, distance to calculate safety score. Let's take a closer look at the detail of the open data to use calculation of safety score. So this is open data with stolen people, published on the website of Nagan Prefecture. So there are 1,496 cases of bug theft in 2018. The open data has several columns, for example, my spell code and location, date, over time, and age occupation of stolen people, and block status. So this time, use using columns to calculate safety score are uh, OCA date and OCA time and stone people age, occupation, and locked status of bike. So then I use the OCA location. Next doing is a bit annoying uh, because I must digitize them. These columns is not only numerical data, uh, have character data. Oh my god, uh, there's only Japanese word in occupation columns. I forgot that I am Japanese. It cannot be used for calculation as is. So let's digitize for calculating safety score. I use Jupyter Notebook to digitize this open data. At first, read open data. Uh, columns not used this time are in the way, so delete them. And it is difficult to program if columns names remain Japanese, so replace them with English. It became a little easier to see. Next, digitize is lock column. Uh, check the category value in the column. Uh, this means locked. On the other hand, this means not locked. So replace locked with 1 and not locked with 0. The that is this. Age and occupation counts in the same way digitize uh, this code in concrete term, check the category, the phrase category, and this dates. So about OCA date time explain. Only month data are extracted from OCA date and then uh, digitized. And OCA time only converts to a number. About location data explain. I added latitude and longitude column by using CSV decoding service that converts address data columns to latitude and longitude. Here is the digitized result. No character, no Japanese words. It's clearer than before. 
So my system uses that open data has been digitized in advance. So next, I explain how to code for calculating safety score. As I said earlier, I use Mahanovich distance. At first, prepare mean vector. The mean vector is calculated including the user data, so add the user data at the end of the open data. Uh, by the way, this user data is an arbitrary value. In a real system, that is a value obtained from line or start in the DB. And next, create constants for columns and loads. Then calculate the average value for each column using for loop. Mean vector has been calculated. Next, I calculate variance covariance. So to calculate that value, first create a vector of user data minus mean vector. Then assign that value of variable diff. And transpose that vector. If you use, you use numpy swap, swap paxis, you can calculate transpose vector in one line. Then multiply those value and divide by number of loads. This is point result. This is print result. Now that variance covariance has been calculated, next calculate Mahalanobis. First, uh, calculate the inverse matrix of variance covariance. Then, multiply that inverse matrix and the vector of user data minus mean vector. Assign this value to variable bar. And next, multiply that variable and transpose that vector. Finally, the Mahalovich distance is calculated by taking the square root of this value. The Mahalovich value this time is 8.79. This time, the user data set arbitrary is that Okachan is 20 p.m., month is December, age is 20, occupation is 4. Uh, it means working adult, locked status is 1, it means locked, and etc. As an experiment, I set the age only to 30 and calculated the safety score. The score increased a little. Set the, NG, set the age only to 60, the score increased considerably. Since this result, I created a graph to observe the change in the safety score by Mahanobis. So this graph shows Safety score by Mahalvis for 1,496 stolen people in open data. Looking at the features of people with low safety scores, I found that there are a lot of teens and 20s, then at the same time, uh, a lot of 7 a.m., 8 a.m., and, and that day is mainly Friday. On the other hand, looking at the features of people with high safety scores, I found that there are a lot of 60s and 70s. The relation between bike theft and this feature is really right. So I checked the open data I used this time, but it is difficult to find the features if they are in the table as is. So I visualize them so that feature can be easily searched. <laughs> yes, I created some graphs. This time I will explain features and trends found from these two graphs. First, this graph 
show this graph shows number of stone people by age occupation. From this graph, I found that number of teens and twenties were stolen bike is over two thirds of the whole. On the other hand, number of sixties and seventies were stolen bike is very small. Next, I explain the graph in the lower right. It is a graph called heat map. This graph shows number of storm people by time and day. Uh, the vertical axis is time and the horizontal axis is day. Deep colored area means a high number of safeties. The point surrounded by red circle is deep colored. So check the time and day. Time in the point are 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. and 18 p.m. So they are committing hours in Japan and 18 p.m. is go home hours. Next please, look at the day. So day in the point is mainly Friday. <laughs> As a result of looking the graph, I found that I found that store people have several features. Most of the store people are teens and 20s. 60s and 70s bike is difficult to be stolen. And committing hours, go home hours, mainly Friday. The features that safety score by Mahanabis has judged danger is almost matched. Feature that open data described as danger. So that I use the safety score by Mahanabis for predicting bike theft. Finally, conclusion. Uh, there are several features of people stolen bike. My line bot used open data with stolen people and can predict bike theft. In open data with stolen people, many younger are stolen bike. But I guess that the younger people buy more high performance bike so that to improve the accuracy of safety score, the open data should have data about bike. That brings me to the end of oh oh, uh, oh I for I forgot to tell you. Uh, code of my line board is of course open because today is Asia. Anyone can view my code. Anyone can use it. Please try using it. If you have any questions, please feel, please feel free to contact me on SNS at Kenji7175. So that brings me to the end of my presentation. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for your attention. Finish.